Hey everybody, it's Sonia and welcome back to OPC Kids Ministries. Now today we're going to talk about spiritual gifts. And spiritual gifts are special skills that God gives each and every one of us who loves Jesus. Okay? When we become friends with Jesus, the Holy Spirit gives each of us a special gift. Now let's go back to our memory verse and it's from 1 Corinthians 12 verses 4 and 5. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit is the source of all. There are different kinds of service, but we serve the same Lord. Now everyone loves getting a good gift. And what's really neat is that when we're friends with Jesus, the Holy Spirit gives each of us a special gift. Now let's find more about what kind of gifts the Holy Spirit gives us according to the Bible. Now the Bible isn't just any book. It's a special book. Okay, you can say it's a gift from God. And God is right here, ready to talk to us. So let's get ready to talk to him. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that we can all be here today. We ask that the Holy Spirit move through each and every one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we're learning about spiritual gifts. And the Holy Spirit gives each of us a special gift. And here at our church, people use their gifts to serve God. But which gift is the most important? So I'm going to put up a list and you try to guess which one's most important. Is it prophecy, which is the ability to forecast or predict? Is it serving, teaching? Maybe it's encouraging or giving. Could be leading, kindness, wise advice. Or maybe it's special knowledge, great faith, healing. Maybe it's miracles. Maybe it's discernment. That's the ability to judge well. Or maybe it's speaking in unknown languages, interpreting unknown languages. Or maybe it's apostles. Now, which one did you guys think was the most important? Do you know what? All of these gifts are really important. And we're not the first ones to think that some jobs are more important than others. But we're going to read about spiritual gifts a guy named Paul wrote about in the Bible. Okay? He was writing a letter to the people of Corinth that thought the ability to speak unknown languages was the best gift. It certainly was the coolest, but it wasn't the most helpful gift at the time. Okay? We're going to read in 1 Corinthians 12, verses 8 to 10. To one person, the Spirit gives the ability to give wise advice. To another, the same Spirit gives a message of special knowledge. The same Spirit gives great faith to another, and to some el someone else, the one Spirit gives the gift of healing. He gives one person the power to perform miracles, another the ability to prophesy. He gives someone else the ability to discern whether a message is from the Spirit of God or from another Spirit. Still another person is given the ability to speak in unknown languages, while another is given the ability to interpret what's being said. We also read in verses 29 to 31. Are we all apostles? Are we all prophets? Are we all teachers? Do we all have the power to do miracles? Do we all have the gift of healing? Do we all have the ability to speak in unknown languages? Do we all have the ability to interpret unknown languages? Of course not. So you should earnestly desire the most helpful gifts. Now Romans 12 verses 6 to 8 reminds us, In His grace, God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. So if God has given you the ability to prophesy, speak out with as much faith as God has given you. If your gift is serving others, serve them well. If you are a teacher, teach well. If your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If it is giving, give generously. If God has given you leadership ability, take the responsibility seriously. And if you have a gift for showing kindness to others, do it gladly. Now that's a lot of spiritual gifts. And it would be exhausting if we had to do all of them all by ourselves. But the Holy Spirit gives each of us a special gift, and that's why we need to work together. Now, those passages are common, commonly used to give us a possible spiritual gifts list. 
okay? We'll call it that, okay? But these are not all the gifts that there could be, okay? Paul just gave us a little bit of an example of gifts, but not the complete list of gifts, okay? So if you look in the Old Testament, okay, and that's way before Paul's time, the Holy Spirit gave special gifts to a couple of guys named Bezalel and Aholiab. In Exodus 31, 1 to 5, we read, Then the Lord said to Moses, Look, I have specifically chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, grandson of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. I have filled him with the Spirit of God, giving him great wisdom, ability, and expertise in all kinds of crafts. He is a master craftsman, expert in working with gold, silver, and bronze. He is skilled in engraving and mounting gemstones and in carving wood. He is a master at every craft. Now, have you guys ever created anything? I'm sure you guys have pictures. Look on your fridge. They're probably on the fridge right now. I've done lots of drawing, as you know, right? I've worked in pencil, pastels, inks, watercolors, gouache, and I even did a lot of clay work, okay? And I like to think right here in my kitchen, I create masterpieces every day. That's right. I create all the time, and I'm sure you guys create too. Now, these verses tell us that the Spirit of God filled Bezalel with wisdom and expertise in all kinds of crafts. So being good at making things is a gift too. And Bezalel worked with another guy named Aholiab, and they also worked with other craftsmen to build the tabernacle. Now, the tabernacle was a church in a tent that the Israelites could take with them when, wherever they traveled, okay? So this is what I would like for you guys to do. I want you guys to create. I want you guys to build a church with your families. You can make it out of mm, Lego, popsicle sticks, or building blocks, anything you guys have. And then you're also going to need pictures of curtains, or perhaps somebody can draw the curtains for you, and you can put it, cut them out first, and tape them onto your church. And then you're going to need items that go inside the church, okay? Matching them with the Bible's list in Exodus 31, 7 to 11, okay? And I will make sure I email that list out to you. So one person in your group can look at the list and make sure they have everything you need. And as you work together, I want you guys to look for gifts in each other, okay? I want you guys to be gift detectives. Then when you're done, make a picture, okay? Or take a picture, sorry. And you can have the people in, who created it with you in the picture, email it to me. Let me see what churches you've built. And then what I can do is I can take those pictures and I'll put it up on the next lesson for next week so you guys can see all your creations, okay? Does that sound good? Awesome. All right, the Holy Spirit gives each of us a special gift and you're gonna see some of those gifts in action. And maybe someone's gonna see a gift in you that you didn't even know you had. So what I want you guys to really understand today, it's really important, the Holy Spirit gives each of us a special gift. And some of us have more than one, but it, we have all at least one, okay? And sometimes it can be the gift of kindness, giving, or encouraging. Okay, those are things we're all called to do. But when you have that gift, it comes more naturally in you. And you use it to serve God. So let's wrap up our lesson today with a prayer. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, we thank you for the special gifts you have given each and every one of us. For the gift of kindness, giving, encouragement, creating, music, speaking, teaching, and much more. We ask that you help each and every one of us to use these gifts to serve God. Lord, we ask that you heal those who are affected by the coronavirus, to protect the frontline workers from getting it, and for, to give wisdom to those who are searching for a cure or vaccine. Lord, give us patience as we stay home to help others. In Jesus' name we pray. And all the children say, Amen. Until next time, guys, be safe, wash those hands, keep your distance, and stay healthy. Ciao. Since we are giving, giving by the Spirit that is gone.